Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are not doing great, I would say. Uh, we have lost a lot of soldiers on the Tiamat. We only have three left, and that's including the extra guy we had that was training. So yeah, we are we are we are in a rough spot. What do we have up here? We have an infiltrator, which we could take. I think we will take an infiltrator. We will take a priest as well. Um, now, if we look at the team at two personnel, we may turn him into a heavy. So, we're going to give him this weapon instead. And we're going to load him up with some ammo for it. Okay. So now we have a heavy at least. Now they do need to heal up a bit first before we go. Uh, we do have some research. Silla autopsy. Yeah, we met the big baddie last time. That was a nasty, nasty thing. Nasty, nasty thing. And we do need to do this mission and this mission but we, we, we just can't right now we just can't right now so let's progress time that exploration is lost expedition our objects have discovered the broken remains of an experimental synedrian mobile lab apparently the vehicle suffered a containment failure there are no signs of the crew but some of the equipment could be salvaged uh, salvage the equipment without informing, uh, inform Sinidrin regarding our discovery and give them the equipment, take everything useful, <laughs> then inform Sinidrin. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll inform Sinidrin and give them the equipment. Dr. Hussein Habinek, a Sinidrin scientist who helped design the lab, sent us a message of thanks. He had argued against deploying it so early, but was outvoted. There's little pleasure to be had in being proven right about something so terrible, he says. But at least we know what happened and can learn from it. So need an attitude towards Phoenix Projects plus five. But they were already... They're at 49. We need to get them to 50. Now, there's something down here that we might be able to recruit. Another... Uh... But we can't get there. We need this area scan to complete first. Sinedrian claims to stand for anarchism, but true anarchism is freedom from coercion. What Sinedrian actually stands for is the tyranny of the majority, and that tyranny is leading them to a rejection of human will and accommodation of the Pandoran invaders. This is treason, and New Jericho will no longer accept it. We therefore declare war. Okay, Tobias, uh, well, they already declared war on you, so I guess it's fair enough that you declared back. Uh, explore. Research complete. Research completed. Pandora virus. Until now, the, we believe the Pandora virus to be a nucleocytoplasmic uh, large DNA virus that rapidly mutates any living organism in an unusually directed way, incorporating DNA from multiple species to create the horrors we have witnessed. The, suggest the suggestion that the Pandoran virus could be extraterrestrial was widely debated by scientists in the 2020s due to its enormous gen genome size and the dissimilarity of many of its genes to those of any other life form on Earth. Many suspected that its intelligent-seeming behavior could not be fully explained by the usual evolutionary models. Our analysis incorporating new data from the cryogenic facility, the Chinese sinkhole and the Siberian lab confirms three facts with worrying implications. The Pandora virus existed on Earth long before the current outbreak. The Pandora virus is non-terrestrial in origin. The Pandora Pandora virus is the product of design, not evolution. Okay, that's a little bit scary. That's a little bit scary. So, it's aliens. There had always been rumors that maybe the Pandora virus wasn't from Earth. That some 
alien disease had come down from the stars like a plague from heaven. But now that we finally had the evidence we needed, we realized the truth was more terrible than that. The Pandora virus was alien, yes, but it wasn't a disease. It was a bioweapon. We were not alone, and whatever was out there wanted us dead. None of this had deterred Randolph Symes. He continued his quest, hoping that whatever his great-grandfather had buried in Oglethorpe University's time vault held the answers he needed. We would have to hope that he was right. Okay, that is really scary. The shadow of the past. We need to investigate Oglethorpe University's time vault, where Randolph Symes Sr. buried a collection of files that might shed light on the history of the Pandora virus. The coordinates have been updated, loaded to our system. Site added to Geoscape Time Vault. Okay. As for the disciples of Anu, there is no official statement from the Exalted of the, or the Synod of Yearning, but rumors suggest they are neither surprised nor worried. The Jericho's attitude to Sunidrin minus three, and to the disciples minus three. Okay. Well, uh, let's just check the Tiamat. It'll still be a while. We could. You know what? We will. Uh, personnel will uh, transfer you to Phoenix Point. And you will be transferred to Phoenix Point as well. And to the Geoscape. And then we'll go recruit some people. Uh, there's one more. Phoenix Point. Might as well stay and get some uh, experience. We'll go recruit a priest. Phoenix base discovered! You have located a Phoenix base and have brought it back online. Cool! Bases. Base number five. Energy generator. We're going to have to repair that. We'll repair the those as well. And we'll repair the vehicle facility as well. Not that expensive. Okay. So I guess that would be over here. Yep. And we'll head over here and explore as well. You have arrived. Let's recruit you. And then we'll head up and, and recruit a infiltrator. A sniper. What do we have on our um, our base? We have a sniper, a heavy, and a berserker. Okay. And let's see. Is there something new that we can research? There is. Arachne SP1, but we don't need to. Because we'll be doing the Sinedrian mission soon. So this is... Uh, no, 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 no. Don't move over there. Uh, Tiamat 2. Uh, what do you have? You have an assault. Hmm. We're going to head up here. Brothers in Arms, Bastion Irasu. Bastion is, Irasu is an independent haven founded by refugees during World War III. It grew to its present size when the surviving nation states finally collapsed during the Second Mist. It welcomes pe people with mutations, but is not allied with the Disciples of Anu, as its, peoples, as its people are generally suspicious of religious leaders. The haven's mayor is one of the first citizens. Fabio Mena, a Costa Rican engineer specialist in communications who accidentally found himself becoming leader. Please just call me Fabio, most people here do. He says, being called mayor is strange, I'm just a man who tries to keep this place running. Okay. There is something Fabio requires our help with. My brother Felipe, well, it's a really long story, but he disappeared during the first mist and I've been looking for him. I know what you're, you're thinking, he's dead. But our family, well, again, it's a really long story. Let's say there are reasons he may have survived. 
and recently I found out he may be living in a Haman controlled by the disciples of Anu. I've been trying to send word, but they won't um, deliver my message. But they won't allow my messages to reach him. So I need you to rescue him. Uh, contact the disciples to acquire. Inquire. As it turns out, the problem can be solved dipl diplomatically. Felipe, whose mutations are quite extensive, has willingly joined the monast monastic order of silent contemplation, and Fabio's messages were not relayed to avoid disturbing Felipe's meditation. In this case, however, an ex exception will be made with the blessing of the exalted, and the two brothers will be temporarily reunited. Fabio and Felipe have chosen paths that are not compatible with each other, but they are brothers and they will find a way of dealing with it. Family, as a wise man once said, should not end in blood. Tech, materials, and food, 100. Very nice. Okay. Explore here. Let's just check the Tiamat. Uh... Okay, this is the, they are being attacked by New Jericho. New Jericho is being attacked by Sinedrian. Uh, Sinedrian is being attacked by New Jericho. Oh man, I don't think we're gonna get involved in these guys. Uh, we, we won't start this scavenging mission right now. We're really just killing time until we can get down here and recruit. Jericho Haven is under attack. Uh, that's an attacking. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. Jesus. Okay, so this is. But we can't do anything. We won't make it there in time. And we don't have the people. Uh, it's as easy as that. Uh, let's see. Even info. Let's recruit you. Then I would love to go over here and get one of these snipers. Where was the sniper? He was here. And uh, you explore. Research complete. And Doran Spawnery. Although the exact method of mutation remains unknown, it has been confirmed that the spawnery is capable of producing more advanced uh, Pandoran creatures. What we have learned is that the specimen determines the exact nature of the batch it breeds, creating the mutations based so best suited for its needs. At this point, it remains unknown where the spawnery receives the biomass needed to create such vast amounts of mutations. Analysis of spawnery samples have revealed the presence of hundreds of strands of DNA, including human, though not all of them appear to be used in the creation of its progeny. Additional findings. Field reports have confirmed that destroying a spawnery effectively, re effectively renders the layer inoperable, causing the structure to be abandoned. Plus 20% damage to spawneries. That's pretty good. And what are we researching now? Advanced acid tech. Now, should we be manufacturing anything? I would love to manufacture one of the another one of these things, but for now I don't think we will. Um, I don't think we should be manufacturing anything. We have these Imhulu grenades, which are pretty good. Um, okay. We'll, we'll leave it for now. Haven destroyed. Okay. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix project site. This isn't a base, but an archive of old, old blueprints and other planning materials. Compiled haphazardly in 2011, when an old, older archival faci facility was demolished to make space for a bypass. Okay, search the site. There are various useful resources here, but the most interesting find is also the least useful. The official Phoenix Project Investment and Development Plan from 1970 
setting up Newton Sumrall and Irina Semyonov Bass. Ambitious plan for the 1970s. Exploring the far side of the moon, retrieving samples from the deepest points of the ocean, even building a new research station in Antarctica. To think of all that could have been. 250 materials, 80 tech, and 120 food. Pretty good. Now we could. Let's head up here. And. I don't want to trade tech for food or for materials. I want to trade food for tech. And move up here. Jesus! These guys war! You're on your way over there. Explore. I know, I know. We can't do anything about it. it smells like survival exploration site. The manticore was one has set down outside an abandoned sewage treatment facility. Our observers report that the smell is so disgusting, we might have to invent a new scale. <laughs> Nasty. First the site. Uh, scavenging up resources from a site like this is pretty awful work, but we need whatever we can get. Our observers have recovered all the resources they could find. They were attacked by a mutated fluke worm, but in the end, but in the end, the fumes were more dangerous than the mutant. It was 25 tech, 250 materials, a bit of damage, and stamina loss. Okay. Now, what's this site? Ah, uh, that's the time vault. Um, we're going to head down here and explore this. Destroy. Okay. Let's recruit you. And don't really what we'll recruit you as well. Uh, I really want to help these guys, but we can't do it right now. We just can't do it right now. You explore. You. Oops. We can't. What are we missing? We're missing a little bit of materials. So let's head up here. I know. It's ridiculous. Uh, heaven info, we'll trade some food for all of their materials. And we'll go back and recruit this guy. Oh yeah, we paused. Okay, that's a destroyed site. Let's head down here. The remains of a new Jericho squad have been found in the wilderness. It would appear that one of the soldiers killed the others in their sleep, guarded them, and arranged their entrails in an elaborate spiral pattern. He then sat in the middle of the pattern until as far as we can tell he starved to death. That sounds nasty. We're up to 30% on the ODI thing. Well, we, we can't actually re recruit this guy because we're going to go over and recruit over here, so we'll head back. A Haven is under attack. I can't do anything, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Haven info, recruit you. That gives us six people on here. None of them are heavy, unfortunately. Okay. Let's give people some weapons. Uh, equipment. You'll get a spider gun. We don't have any crossbows. You'll take that for now, and then you'll take uh, medkit, 
couple of medic med kits and a bunch of grenades. And there's you. Ooh. Disciples of Anu Synod Priest Headly Mutation. Radiant Hope. Living allied units within seven tiles recover two will points at the start of turn. That is really cool. That is nice. I'd heard about this. Uh, someone mentioned it in uh, the comments. And it looks awesome. Uh, so you have the gear that you need. You Do I really want to give you a virus rifle? I mean, sure. And med kit. And then some grenades. Well, now that'll have to do. And there's you. You can grab a spider gun, but it doesn't have any ammo, so it doesn't really matter. So you're just going to be a medic right now. With some grenades. Play with as well. And then there's you. You get a sniper rifle. And some ammo. A med kit. A pistol. With some ammo. Okay. I think that's everyone. Oops, so far, yeah. And there's you. You got a level. Master Marksman. Boom Blast. I think we'll take Master Marksman. And... Give you some strength and some speed. Okay. Uh, G-Escape. Let's... We'll head up here. Uh, and start a new scan, I guess. Uh, area scan. Explore. Tiamat is on its way back to base. To get decked out. Okay. Bird treasure. Exploration site. Uh, our operatives have discovered something of a treasure trove, an old underground lab full of functional tech. Unfortunately, the structural integrity of the facility is severely comp compromised. Deep cracks in the walls suggest collapse is imminent. It would be possible to reinforce the facility to buy us enough time to retrieve all the tech, but it would be costly. And we don't have the materials for it, because we have 44 materials. So we will just uh, attempting, but a waste of resources. Not every treasure, treasure is worth, worth pursuing, and greed can be dangerous. We'll have to get our tech elsewhere. Yes, we will. Now, we are going to head up to this site. We're back. Did anyone get levels while they were here? No. Okay, now, while well, you're fun, you're just not that great. You're just not that great. I'm afraid of containment. Oh. Okay. Well, we're 50 slots. Ooh, we can harvest some... Ooh, let's do that. Okay, they disappear if we do that. Okay, but that gives us a lot of stuff. This uh, mutagen stuff. 385. Okay, okay. Now, do we want to mutate you in any way? You have the head thing. 
So, what's your... Uh, this gives you minus one speed plus seven perception. And 16 armor. So, 34 armor minus two speed. Minus 10 stealth, minus 10 accuracy. But restore 10 hit points for all injury, injured body parts and general hit points each turn. And fire resistance as well. What about this one? Armor 16, perception 4, plus 4, no speed loss. Tentacle attack, perform it, a melee attack and apply paralyzed damage. Tentacle red retaliation, melee repost with tentacles in response to nearby enemy attacks. Okay. We have the legs. Stomper legs, minus 2 speed, you can stomp. And shadow legs, plus 30 stealth. Form a melee kick and daze target. The shot value is greater than target's hit points. Okay. If I would were to get anything, it would be this thing, I think. Does it take time? I don't know. I guess not. Okay, so he's mutated. Cool. That makes him a little bit more useful than with that stupid uh, uh, virus rifle as well. Because that just sucks. Okay. So how many people do we have here? We have three, we have six. So we're going to leave someone behind and that's going to be you. Uh, transfer you to Phoenix Point. Transfer you to the team at two, team at two, team at two. And we're going to take you out as well, even though you're half dead. And that fills us up. Now, where are we going? This is the next question. We're not going to the Pandoran layer. We could go do these scavenge sites because we do need uh, materials and stuff. Are there any... No, we can't do that. Oh, we need to do the man who would be Pirate King. You know what? We'll go to a scavenge site first. Destroyed. You're on your way. Uh, well, who's attacking him? It's Pandorans. Okay. Team at two, head down here and help out. Threat level medium, light level day, enemy Pandoran. We'll get some tech and materials, which we desperately need. And that is fantastic. But we are going to do all this in the next episode, guys, because we are pretty much out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.